Jack Studio with ECIA, and I'm here to show you how to get involved with the East Central Iowa Transportation Safety Plan. Before we begin, I would like to provide a brief overview of the plan and its goals. ECIA is working with the Institute for Transportation at Iowa State University to develop a safety action plan for 58 cities within our region. The goal of the plan is to eliminate fatalities and serious injuries for all roadway users. We plan on accomplishing this by identifying and prioritizing projects and policies that address safety issues as well as map out strategies for funding and implementation. We plan on using a wide range of data for our plan, such as crash data, general roadway data, so looking at intersection and road segments, bike and ped routes, bus stops, safe routes to school routes, and community input. Now getting into community engagement, there are currently two ways to submit input for the plan with additional opportunities planned for the future. The first option is the Transportation Safety Concern Mapping Tool. The mapping tool allows users to identify specific locations where safety can be improved. The tool allows users to select a location and report a safety concern or provide a safety improvement idea for that location. Users are encouraged to submit their input for as many locations as they like. The map showing the results of these surveys will be eventually shown on our website for public viewing. The second method to submit input is through the Transportation Safety Survey. The survey will allow users to submit their input by city. The survey can be filled out by a resident or a non-resident of that city and is composed of questions regarding transportation safety. The survey asks users to rate the safety levels of different modes of transportation and ask what areas they want community leaders to focus on to improve safety. In addition to the mapping tool and the survey, the project team will be meeting with community representatives and holding a series of public input meetings later in 2024. So why is this all important? The input from cities will create a TSP that works for all the stakeholders in the region. It will help cities identify specific safety issues within their jurisdictions, and it will help guide analysis and identify potential solutions for safety issues. Finally, this will help guide cities to apply for funding in the future. Here's the timeline for the project. The first meetings with city representatives are planned to begin in February and continue through the spring. My contact information and link to our website are on the slide if you have any more questions or would like any more information on the project itself. Thank you for watching.